Of course we get pushed back, and look at Detroit and New York Islanders jumping up there from 7-2, to two, from 13-3. to three. Good gracious, and our 15th pick obviously stays back there, Winnipeg's, but yeah, from 3-5. to five. Again, we still have a top 5 pick. That's still pretty good. Carolina going to be getting a very, very good center sniper, even like the Islanders and Detroit going to be. Yeah, everyone's getting solid picks. Poor Montreal get pushed all the way back, but uh, yeah, kind of sucks for us getting... Getting bumped back there to uh, the five spot, but what can you do? That was Washington's pick. I mean, that was it's still a huge, huge win for us, uh, what that pick turned out to be. So, yeah, I mean, they, they were third last. I wasn't really expecting that to be the case, but there they are. Uh, so, yeah, the, the fifth now, the 15th, and then whatever our pick is. Still maybe even trade up. We'll see what we need here. The fifth is still good. We'll see what we can do maybe with that 15th and the other thing. There might be good stuff. And over on the 15th, we could probably get an elite sniper um, again. So we'll see what happens there. I mean, there, no matter what, there's going to be plenty, plenty of, uh, of good pieces to grab here. So I'm getting excited about that. And we'll check out some retirements here. Let's see who's biting the dust. Uh, Patrick Marlowe retires on Columbus. Good career for him. Corey Perry. Steen, Philpula, Giordano. Is he? Okay, he actually, yeah, he's done. Louis Erickson, Bacchus. I just wanted to check a couple of these overalls here. Steen could have probably played one more year, but yeah. Maybe he's just done. Everyone else should be pretty much, uh, oh, excuse me. Pretty much inconsequential. Yeah, we're already getting into the FAs here. Boy, Chuck McQuaid, Ryan White. Yeah, pretty much done there. Let's check out goalies. Um, no one really made Schneider retiring. Yeah, he was capped out. No. <laughs> Again, those freaking Vancouver numbers inflating his uh, stats there. And, of course, getting sent down to the AHL. McElhaney and uh, Toivonen, but basically just Schneider, McElhaney. The only, uh, only NHL guys there, really. So there we are. And Giordano, Marlowe, and Steen become a coach. Oh, man, I might have to get Marlowe. That might have to be a thing. Uh, Schneider becomes a scout. And no one from Burnaby, and no one from Cincinnati. So none of our coaches retire. Good. Cool. All right, so interview time. We'll see what we want to do here. We'll get a good look at what we want to target. So we got the five here. So we're going to miss out on Hernandez unless we move up. I don't think it's safe to move up because it'll be the two. Unless Detroit's willing to give up that pick. But why do that when we can get Zeiss here, who is NHL ready? And, yeah, he'll be a pretty damn solid power forward option there. That's kind of where I'm leading. There's also Cody Smith, who should be elite. Don't have him as scouted. Won't be able to get a confirmed elite, but he should be. I mean, he's not going to be a medium top six in there, so. Both... Both uh, le um, left wingers. One's right handed. I don't know if it matters too much. It's kind of preference at this point. Might have to go with John Zeiss because I have had Cody a couple times in franchise modes. Plus, if, if, if I sign Zeiss immediately, we don't want to play him in the NHL. We could play him AHL, control his development a bit more like that. Crazy good physical game. Alrighty, and then we also have what the fifteenth. Yeah, we get. Oh wow, we can also maybe get Vasiliev. If not, we can get Umberger. Wow, both he's NHL ready. Umberger also NHL ready. It's too bad there's not a friggin'. Oh, but Savoie is also an elite weak on faceoff, so he's more of a winger. That's less less interesting then. And then there's another sniper back here as a left wing. Unfortunately. Zero elite defenseman. Kind of could have used like a lefty defenseman here, but this is what it is. Let's all right. Anyway, let's let's interview some dudes here. What do we want? Unfortunately, these freaking guys are righties. I need a lefty defenseman. <laughs> There's this guy. He's top four and an OFD. No thanks. Is there any? No. There's like okay. There's a defenseman here, but we're not really likely gonna get. One year ETA. Hold on. What are these guys ETA? Okay, NHL ready. Never mind. I was thinking, oh, is that a different ETA? That well, it's one year according to. That's similar. Well, how about back here? Oh wow, that oh it drops pretty quick. One yeah, it's not yeah, it's no no not even close to a guarantee. 
Hmm. This guy looking pretty solid. All right, well, let's see who we want to interview. I'll go to, uh... I think I have one too many picks, too, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there's a lefty OFD, but, man. Here's a lefty. I wonder if we get, like, any more scouting info on him. Probably not, man. Yeah, you know, I don't even know what I want to interview here. Most of the guys we're targeting, I kind of know what they're all about. I wish there was a way to get the, uh, the shooting, puck skill, senses, like all that kind of stuff kind of scouted more. But there really isn't, is there, in the interview process? Not really. All right, I'm just going to go for some unknowns here. Yeah, there's zero defensemen. <laughs> I mean, I could check that guy out, we could hope, but I, I, I don't think, I think he's going to be top four. I highly doubt he's going to be an elite. Alright, so we know... I'm looking for a defenseman who couldn't turn out to be a low elite here, but there's just simply not any of that either. Jesus. Not a good draft for defenseman. Like, again, we don't necessarily need a bunch, but... All right, I'm just going to scout some unknown or go with some of these unknowns here. Give us better options. Let's start with Gilbert. Interview him and then scroll down, target a few guys here. All right, three-year ETA. That's a good sign. Three-year ETA is pretty good. Two-way forward. And we'll do personality. Let's see what kind of person he is. Consummate professional. You like to see it. So let's see. Is he low? If he's a low, there's a very, very good chance he'll be an elite. Uh, no. Medium. Okay. So next guy here is this uh, Hutenin guy. Where the heck was... I know we had low elites. Oh, man. They're all... Okay. I guess they were earlier. Well, I'm still going to do all these guys here. Let's interview this dude. Because we do have seconds. Or a second, at least. I can't remember. <laughs> Don't remember everything, but let's just target what I'd normally target. Three or ETA, so same kind of deal. To another two-way guy. And personality-wise... Passionate. Alright, so he's a passionate dude. Likes to win. That's a good guy to have, especially as a role player. Could be could be solid if he turns out to be something. But another medium. So not no luck yet. One more left winger there. Another left winger here. And then it starts getting into the low those guys. So I'd rather interview this dude up here. He has a better chance if he has a low to be an elite. Though it's far from a guarantee. If that guy had better ETA, it'd be a much, much better option, but. Anyway, let's peck a Kipris off. Let's see. Um, Three-year ETA, so still kind of falling into the same category. Sniper, though. All right. If he's medium, though, not a good shot. There might not be any of those. That's fine. It's fine either way. Constant professional, blah, 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 blah. All right. Let's see, did we get any any such luck here, or are we just going to have to look for the late rounds for those kind of guys? Yeah, not really. Okay. Well then. There's at least some decent options here. For top fours who could pan out into something sort of decent. Who knows? But there's all our interviews. I do have some pins. I might have to pin a few more here. But before we do that... Let's check out the awards from the previous season. So Edmonton won the cup. Toronto won the presidents. It was Edmonton versus Tampa Bay in the finals. So they made their way back, this time losing to Edmonton. Oh, wow, have they lost? No, 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 they won once. Yeah, that's right. All right, individual awards here. McDavid with the Art Ross. Dreisaitl with the Hart. Norris went to Klingberg, who was on Edmonton. Yeesh. Uh, Kucherov with the Lady Bing. Raymond with the Calder. So two years running, we've had our guys win Calder. like to see it. Auntie Ranta with the Con Smythe. Markstrom with the Vesna. Carter Hart with the William M. Jennings. Gudas twice in a row for the Masterton. 
Uh, our coach won the Jack Adams. <laughs> Wait a sec. Didn't we... Didn't our, one of our other coaches win it? And then we fired him? Now our new coach won the Jack Adams? <laughs> Get fucked. Uh, Cole Pitar with the Selkie. And Ted Lindsay to Dreisaitl. And Sagan with that Maurice Richard. All right. And the Bimming, Binnington or Burning... Whatever, Devils. AHL Devils won the uh, Calder Cup. Bennington, Burnington. I fucking... Don't, don't ask me. I don't know. I look at it and then I try to pronounce it and it doesn't make sense. Who knows, man? Birmingham. Birmingham. <sighs> Words. <laughs> I'm just going to try to produce, pronounce that for the night. Okay, I can't talk. Let's go. Draft time. All right, so we have the uh, fifth pick, obviously. Yeah, no one wants to give up their picks here. And actually, fucking any. Wow. No. Oh, my God. Oh, closest pick we could get that. We can't. Oh, wow. So we'd have likely going to have to draft in place here. I think we might have had one extra pick. So, damn. Center playmakers aren't bad, but I think we're kind of okay off of those. For Although, we are kind of still missing a center. But power, we do need a power forward. I know that. for We definitely need a power forward. With our other pick, you know, I might... I might uh, but Savoie's not a center. He's terrible at face-offs. Shit. I wonder if either of these guys will be good at face-offs. Center power forward, or maybe go for this Umberger guy. He could be a it could be a center sniper, and then pair him with uh, I don't know. We'd have we may have to make someone into a a center, which isn't the end of the world, I guess. Yeah, with the fifteenth pick, it'll probably be one of these guys, Umberger Vasiliev. Yeah, it's just we he's got the weak faceoffs. That really sucks. Other than that, it would have been almost perfect. So yeah, we're probably gonna pick in place with those two. Where's our Where's our own pick then? If it fits at the 22 slot, we have a chance. Oh my god, we can get three elites here. We can get that other sniper guy too. We might. I might actually. If I can get two power forwards, that'd actually be huge. We do have a lot of guys who can be snipers or are snipers. So that's kind of where we're at now. All right, let's let's sim the first few picks here. So Michael Ludi. Going to the Canes here. So let me uh, put you in there for that. Oops. Auto correct. Want to correct your name to list. It's still doing it. Stop it. There we go. So you go into the Canes. That's a couple guys. You and McMuffin on the Canes here. Let's see who the Isles pick up. Uh, Lindzen. Center two way forward. Not bad. Detroit with their beautiful, beautiful pick. They get Hernandez, 81 overall power forward. God, that would have been nice. Pretty sick. And the Habs select. Gallant, a left, a winger, two-way guy. All right. So let's search around here for the members. Kind of try to go in order. We got Jacob here on the Ducks. I don't know if anyone else is on the... Yeah, Ice Warrior also on the Ducks. So Ice Warrior and Jacob do... <laughs> Both, both right wingers, rip. But uh, you're a 78 now, about ready for. Ooh, your awareness is a bit low. Shots okay, but your yeah, awareness is a bit low. Good puck skills, decent defense, good physical game. Can struggle with professionalism, but cares about winning. Ice Warrior's a bit of a party. He's a party animal, fucking around down there in the juniors. And uh, Jacob here, winger playmaker. Pretty much built how you'd want a playmaker to be built. So very solid from both of them. Good good years as well. Look at that. Almost goal per game. Assist per game for Jacob. And uh, the Ducks have a pretty good uh, pairing. Pretty good a one-two punch moving forward on the wings. It's like Solani and Korea again. We'll see how the Ducks uh, kind of come out of there. All right, next up, we do have someone on the Coyotes here, I believe. Uh, I thought we did. Yeah, we do. That's right. Jimmy Sullivan. And did I even write him down? Yes, I did. Way down on the bottom. 72. I didn't really groan much as a low elite. Hopefully getting... At least he's getting nice time. He's not being fucking scratched. <laughs> We've seen some people do. So good on you. Learning to be a shutdown guy over there. Uh, Bruins. Don't think we have anyone there. Don't think anyone on the Sabres either. Flames. Whoops. Nope. Canes, there we go. Now we have Michael Ludi there, but McMuffin's now up to a 79. Did he actually grow at all? Oh, well. 
That's got to be. Yeah, okay. He was in Regina. He's now going to be called up to the uh, NHL. 96 point, uh, point season in Regina. He's going to be ready for uh, NHL time. That is for sure. Oh, boy. Look at that build. Pretty damn good. Look at the offense. Watch out for him. Wow. That's a pretty damn good situation for him to be in. And now a special dude. One-two punch. Looty and McMuffin. Playmaker, sniper. Dude, all they need is a freaking power forward, which they don't have, but you need to put two snipers on them. Who the hell cares? That's going to be a deadly line no matter what. I mean, they still have... Oh, my gosh. Canes are going to be stacked. Absolutely stacked in the years to come, this team. That is going to be scary to look at. Okay, let's see. I think we have someone here. Thought we had someone in Columbus. Guess not. We do have someone on the wings here. And they just got Hernandez. Yeah, that's right. Dean Vodka, 76 20. So a bit behind schedule, but making his way up there. Going to be a solid goal scorer. He's got really good offensive awareness. Decent enough shot. Once you crack the NHL, you get there. But you are a bit on the lower side of things. <laughs> Uh, probably just a second. Well, you were likely going to be a second liner now, but you might actually be a lower second liner. Have to get some stat growth to really make your way up there. But you do have a couple of good centers, Hillen and Larkin. You also have Beignet. I mean, this team's stacked on the forward end all the way around. No other really way to cut it. They're looking very, very good moving forward here. So moving on. We got LA next where we have Isaac Wallace. Somewhere. Or did they trade you? No, there you are down there. That's right. Low elite as long as well as a Russo. It's 20 now, only 74 overall. Two years, two 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 things of growth each. You'll be you should be ready for a uh, yeah, HL now. Russo as well. Better growth from him. Definitely well built. How's yeah, just very defensive guy. Maybe third line role for you. I don't know if you'll ever get into a scoring role, but you never know. Definitely a bit slower on the uptick. Yeah, not a great season either. Rousseau, though. Pretty good year in the juniors. Only played 58 games, so suffered through some injury. Over a point per game. As a sniper, though, your shot's actually looking good. And you got the awareness. Not too much puck skills, but whatever. Just a pure shooter right now. William Rousseau should be making it towards that... Uh, that second line, we hope. All right, the Wild have Urban Jack, 78 at 20 now. So he has grown good. Shouldn't cap out. Maybe a bit of a late bloomer here, but should at least get into that top four regardless. And it's looking pretty damn good. 88, 85. Good defense, too, especially considering as an OFD. Not a great shot, but that's kind of how we have it. But looking like a good threat. I mean, 20, almost 80. I mean, you're still you're still going to be probably a top guy, number two, or, you know, top two sort of threat. So looking pretty damn solid right there as the Wild start to uh, try to figure things out here. Uh, no one on the Habs. Do we really not have anyone on the Predators? We usually do. I guess we don't. <laughs> we do have someone on the Devils here. That would be a reigning noob, and he's a goaltender, right? Yeah. He switched to a... Oh, they... What the fuck? Wait, wait, wait. They got... They got Ben Wa... Really? Yeah, they got Ben Wa and a reigning noob. <laughs> well, there's your two-one... There's your one-two punch goaltender-wise. Franchise and backup. There you go. 76-20. 72-19. Yeah, there's a starter and a very, very good backup. The, they're going to duel let out. One of them will likely be moved. So that'll be interesting to keep an eye on. Let's see how reigning noob did. What? No games played. CHL, what? Wait, 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 wait. That can't be right. Cam Loops. Oh, yikes. Only played seven games this last year. Was that even the same year? That might... What the fuck? No, I don't even think you played at all. What the hell happened? Yikes. How, how does that even work? No one knows. Anyway, Dylan Benoit and Guelph. He didn't have a great year, actually. Yes, 21-22. Bro, you were scratched. Get good, reigning noob. Oh, no wonder you only grew like two ticks. Oh, man, that's rough. <laughs> Yikes. All right. G gotta love how people develop. Uh, gotta love how this game likes to develop people, I guess I should say. No one there. We got a couple guys on the sends here. Not goalies. Gonna go to skaters, please. Well, there. All right. 
And it's Papin, 75 and 19, making his way up. As I recall, he's one of those slow kind of growers at the beginning, but he's working his way up, going to have good awareness. The shot should get there, be decent enough. Off-wing sniper. Pretty good year at the Armada. Six, missed some time with injury. Still a 65-point year. Not a ton of goals, but, again, those are all faked stats, so pay no heed. Who else was there? It is Myers. That's right, and you were... Oh, also I have Monsieur Vince. That's right. Um, 74. So both of them are around the same thing. Monsieur Vince had a pretty decent year with the Huskies. 68 points, 10 points above point per game. Build-wise, yeah, lower on the uh, awareness. Going to be good defensively. Not a great shot either. And Jaron Myers, slower going, but you're now a DFD. Looking good defensively. Actually pretty decent production. A lot of penalties, as to be kind of expected from that role. But a career high down there in Windsor. And shut in the door. That's what you want out of him. We do have uh, one or two more guys to look at here, so I'm going to have to call a timeout. But pretty solid growth. All right, we got someone on the Blues. And I think that, and the Golden Knights, that's right. All right, so we'll look at VGK first. We got Mike D here somewhere. There he is, low franchise, 79-19. Was in the AHL, 35 goal a year. Not a ton of points, 52 points. But as a rookie to professional hockey, not too bad. Uh, made the playoffs, knocked out in the first round, four points in five games. Not too bad. Very well built. Oh, look at the shots good enough. The offense awareness is higher than the passing. The defense is there. The physical game is there. Not a strong skater, but he's a big boy, 6'6", 244. He's coming for you. He's grinding you out in the corners there. So watch out for Mike D. And last but not least, we have someone on the Blues here for the first time in a long time. Trey Johnson, elite, 79 at 19, right winger. I mean, taking over for, uh, I guess, uh, Tarasenko eventually. But a winger, playmaker. Oh, good gracious, look at the offense. Oh, my gosh, look at the offense. Not a great shot, but who needs it? Great skating. Oh, yeah, playmaker extraordinaire. Pretty decent defense, all things considered. Not strong with the stick checking, but good awareness. Very good hockey mind, Trey Johnson has. Going to be a threat there in St. Louis. For years to come. Watch out for him. Just doing one more look over. I'm pretty sure I covered everyone. So there we are. Now we got to keep an eye on everyone getting drafted here. So it's our pick. And, uh, I'm pr yeah, I think we got to... <laughs> here, here's the thing, man. Here's where I'm torn. I would love two power forwards. But also a good center playmaker. Two good center playmakers. All right, let's. I'm gonna take a deep dive here. What the hell do we need? Power forward is good. I'm not gonna lie. I do need power forwards. We have a center sniper, which is good. We can turn one of these wingers in. Oh man, Raymond's up to an 84. That's good for us. 75 faceoffs. He's not the best for it, but he could, you know, lock down that second line. Winnick, 76 faceoffs, only slightly better. We got the Yaj to be our number one. That's our only. We had, yeah, yeah, Pajo. Oh yeah, we can still. Yeah, we're still thinking about trading him. I mean, we could trade. Yeah, I was gonna fucking do that. Well, also, do we have too many picks? I gotta check that. One, two, three, four. No. We haven't done a single pick yet. Wow, we can real. Okay, you know what? Maybe we could. I'm gonna call a timeout here just to make sure I don't run out of time. Any of these guys want to get? Even though, are they any of them listed as hopefuls? Nope, rebuilder. Devils, maybe? Probably won't want to give it up. Habs, probably don't. None of those guys want, would, would have wanted to give it up. I don't think any of them, really. Maybe the Blues. Rebuilder. Shit, man. Hopeful. Okay, the ninth is the only one we could really get. Is there anyone at the ninth that we could really, really use here? Technically, yes. Although, you hope it's not Camel going to be there, but we could still get a power forward if we select a playmaker here. That erases me from being able to get Zeiss, but again, I, just, I really feel like we need another really, really good center. Shane Wright could be that guy. Great senses, great puck skills, A-plus for reach. Likes behind the net. Oh, man. 
I might. I think we might have to do that, or we can go for Lambert. Weak character, though. I don't like that. And lower defense, which means his face-offs are likely going to be lower. So I think Shane Wright is a better option here. I have had Lambert before. Shane Wright I've never, ever had. So 200-foot game, creativity, playmaking ability, all that is good. No weaknesses. Behind the net, that's pretty perfect for us, really. And this guy likes overload. It's more of a second-line trait. Although we are, it's again, we may be looking for a second-liner here. Ugh. Very, very torn. Because we're hoping, you know, Yaj is a first-liner. But... Shit. All right, if we move for the ninth, we could. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Let's let's try to let's try to wheel for this. And you know what? Given given these guys a center is something they kind of need. We can give them Pajol, and they want Pajol, and that's a good contract for him. That helps them a lot. Wow. That's okay. We can really kind of let's get another freaking first then from next year. They don't want to give it up. Oh, wow. They don't have... Oh, I was hoping for a second. They don't even have that. Okay, we're going to have to get two firsts here. We could still technically get more, but they don't want to give any of them up. I'm cool with just giving this to them straight up for a couple firsts. Get the ninth pick, secure an elite, and get another first for next year. Maybe they're shit. They got O'Reilly on the way out. This is They'll have a good one-two punch down the middle. Good wingers. We didn't have max picks here. We're gaining one more for this year. One, two... Three, four. Okay, that, okay, it'll be maxed out in the first two rounds, so we'd have to... We can grab their three. We don't have a three. Let's grab their three. 69th! Nice. All right, let's do that. Pajo for that. Fuck yeah. Let's do that. And now we can select a center and a power forward. And we can still get more elites. Now, we're still going to be looking for that lefty. Uh, well, not really, though. As long as, uh, I'm singing on the defensive side of things, I'm trying to head my best, but, I mean, the Lambos is actually growing better than he really ever has. So, as long as Nash and Tessier get to that top two, or maybe even Lambos gets there, no matter what, we have four elite defensemen in the system. And that could be our top four, essentially, of the future. So, we don't need it. It's good to hedge your bets, but we essentially don't need it. So, fuck it. Stock up on forwards. We still have two good goaltenders. Miranov Goldberg, both of them gonna be battling it out. Yeah, I think I think we go center power forty. I'm gonna take another look. I wanna be sure about this. This is a huge, huge moment in this franchise mode here. What do we got? We got coming up. We obviously got Raymond, couple wingers. Still got Horn Fist. I wanna hold on to him, I guess, at this point. Don't want to be completely shit. Yeah, Yash. Ovechkin. Winnick Raymond. Yeah, power forwards. I did change these guys to playmakers, but we could, we're could. we also going to pick up some snipers later, so... Yep. Alright, I'm not going to dive... I think we need the center. I think good power forward. And, yeah, we're, we're in good shape. Two power forwards does look good, but... We can, you never know what's coming next year. So we got that going for us. Now it's just the, I think, I think Wright's going to be the better option. He should have better face-offs. So I'm going to go with Shane Wright here. And hopefully I'm not Shane wrong about this pick. 81 overall. Fuck yeah. All right. 81 overall. He's NHL ready. Third line. Sep ooh. Ooh. Only 71 face-offs. That is way lower than I thought it would be. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Look at his defense. No wonder it was up there. Oh, crap. If the other guy's got better face-offs, I'll kind of be a little angry. Uh-oh. That... That's not good. <laughs> Rip. Uh-oh, did they get the guy with better face-offs? No, they went with Zeiss. 80 overall power forward. God, he's solid. Hard to let that one go. I'm really hoping we don't actually miss out on what we're going for here at this point. I'm hoping the other power forward doesn't get selected. It might happen. We hope it doesn't. Kemmel went. No, it shouldn't now. And even if it does, we get the better sniper. Or the better the better center with the better face-offs. Which kind of doesn't help us because we still need that power forward. But we'll at least have that. No matter what, we're getting the power forward or the center with maybe better face-offs. But you're, you got to think that Montreal goes with the center. With Lambert. He at centrally, Central scouting has him ranked higher. So, that, ugh, I'm hoping this happens. It does that weak character. Sometimes that affects him. I do want the power forward. Hopefully this doesn't backfire on us. 
Okay, it didn't. 80 overall. What's his freaking face-offs? Okay, it's not that much better. It's literally one better. But he is lower overall. Whatever. All right. Ugh. Neither of them were that good on face-offs. It kind of sucks. But again, we also have those two other playmakers who are on the wing, Raymond and Winnick, who could, we could put them in the fucking middle. Who knows? Anyway, we are going to get our power forward here. That'll be Cody. I have gotten him a lot, but the way the thing, the draft is kind of lined up here, I could go, you know, crazy out of order for Vasilev. Oh, yeah, we can still get him. Maybe if he drops back. Maybe we still get Vasilev. If not, we're getting Umberger. Well, maybe if we get lucky, we do get two power forwards. Could I shift that pick up one? Maybe. I could probably do that. Anyway, let's get Cody Smith here. We'll think about maybe shifting that pick up to grab the other power forward. 80 overall power forward left wing. Oh, 92 awareness. Oh, baby. Look at the defense. The shot's actually accurate. That's the best. Oh, man. Yes, sir. Give me some good hybrid production. Ready for fourth line immediately. Oh, man. Looking good. I don't think I shift the pick up. I think I kind of take our chances here. Yeah, they're listed as a rebuilder anyway. They're not going to want to give that up. I'd have to go for maybe Columbus's. Which, again, maybe it's worth it. Do I want the two power forward? They're listed as a rebuilder as well. This is going to probably be too hard. LA, what are they listed as? Rebuilder? Yeah, that's... Oh, no, they're listed as a hopeful. Okay. How big, How important is it to get that guy instead of another sniper? Power forwards that were... Well, okay, let's think about it. We got Raymond, who technically is a sniper, but doesn't shoot a lot. The Ash is our only real sniper right now. This Ovechkin playmaker... The Ash is the only sniper sniper we have. Cody Smith will take shots. Raymond shot 201 times. Playing between first and second. That's pretty good. Good hybrid. I th <sighs> Do I really want the power forward? It depends on what's available next year. There are a lot of power forwards here. It might be good to, to get them while the getting's good, but... Ah, that's this is a really tough call. Moving up, it'll cost more value. It will cost more value. Vasiliev or Umberger. Magic hands, pro release skating. Doesn't say goal scoring as a trade, but he has a very very good shot. If he doesn't use it though, what's the point? Size and skill, puck production, size and strength. Again, more. Yeah. Oh, he likes crash. Never mind. He likes crashing that. We're going to go with, ah, uh, yeah, we're going to probably, if we get Vasilia, but I'd actually prefer Umberger, to be honest. So, not going to move up, not going to do anything like that. Up to the 15th we go. Okay, yeah, he actually went. I, I got confused for a second. Uh, there he went. Let's go back. I actually need to write down the names that have gone. Um, Zeiss went to, De oh, wow. Yep, the Devils. Pretty good. Let me write these down real quick. The Devils, we got Cody, um, Sutari to the uh, Flames, and Connor Emery to the Ducks. So a few guys on the Ducks now, too. And OFD for the Ducks. And Neil went to the Kings. All right, so a couple guys, a few of you guys, a lot of you guys actually in SoCal right now. All right, so our pick now at the 15th slot. We are going to select Umberger for sure, definitely. We need more sniper options. He could play right wing or left wing. He's very, He'll be very versatile. Ben Umberger should be NHL ready too, right? Yeah, maybe he's an 80 overall like that power forward too. That would be huge. Uh, fucking 81 overall. Even better. What a draft. This is a franchise-altering draft. We are ready for prime time. Look at that shot. Please be a shooter, man. If he's a shooter, holy hell. Him, Shane Wright, and, like, Cody? GG, man. Even if he isn't a shooter, if he's playing with Cody, Cody's gonna shoot a lot. They can fucking split the... Oh, God, that line is gonna be filthy. Shane Wright or, you know, whatever. Whoever the fuck in the middle there. Oh, I'm so excited. Get hyped, boys. I'm getting excited right now. We have one more pick here at the 21 slot, which, again, we could probably get yet another... Yeah, it could be another sniper. So that was the only reason I might have wanted that power forward, because we can get another sniper here. 
He's got the actual goal scoring trait. One year ETA. So this other guy big. I mean, we could always turn someone into a power. F Oops, that's the wrong guy. That's the actual power forward. Umberger. I mean, yeah, they're not really built like power fours or whatever. But we could always turn someone into one of those if we so are get so, you know get so desperate. And again, we also have plenty, plenty of a trade. Whoa, what am I doing? <laughs> I don't want to trade this pick. So wait, wait, we've picked three so far. We should only have two more picks in the first two rounds. I'm just making sure. I don't want to break the rules here. Three, uh, four, five, yep. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Perfect. And max of twelve. There we go. We got everything. All right. So we can just draft happily now and not worry about it. Up to our next pick. I'll scroll back for possible members here. I can't, yeah, there's one. Dylan Burns. Got to make sure he goes. You went to the, what is that? Dallas. Okay. So there we are. Top six, two way forward. 75 overall. Going to be a nice threat. Second, third line defensive minded uh, center. Good stuff. All right. Now our pick here. I think there are a couple more members here. So we can grab. Kim Carlson, which is probably the best bet here. One year ETA, but medium elite. Likes overload too, which could be a good second line option. We'll see. Yeah, there's Jesse Camilleri down here. But if you have a choice between a low elite and a medium elite, unless Jesse Camilleri is like a low franchise, I can't remember. I'm not going to take a gamble on that. <laughs> I think we go with Kim Carlson here. A Swedish sniper. Again, can play either left wing or right wing side by the looks of it. So yeah, let's let's go for it. Let's not take any uh, any chances here. 72 overall sniper, a couple years development for him. Could play him HL immediately if we wanted to. Maybe we'll do that. All right, up we go to the 53. I'm gonna scroll back and make sure we don't miss any of the members here, obviously, or get them written down. They're not going to be any of these, I don't think, but I'm just making sure. Nope. All right. Back to the first round. I think that was our last one here. I believe so. So can All right, Jesse, you go to the Blackhawks. Not too shabby. Okay, Camille Rowe, no. Come on, this autocorrecting is killing me here. All right, there you are. 75 overall, let's see how you grew. Going to have a decent enough shot, pretty good defense, pretty good offense. More physical than anything else, which will be good for, you know, low lead. If you do only cap out for some reason to third line, you'll still be a good presence. And as a late first, you never know how you'll turn out. All righty. So here we are in the second with the 53rd pick. Let's check in on some of our pins here. Uh, yeah, those two coming way, way later. So we can go over the blind pick here. Not a whole lot of hope that it turns any, into anything tremendous. But maybe I'll look for something out of the ordinary here. It's a 19-year-old top six. ETA, three years, power forward. Big boy. Wouldn't be too bad to get. At the very least, it's a top six, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say get that. And he's got three-year ETA, so I mean, he could could be something decent. Maybe a third liner, but hey, you never know. That's kind of the best pick here, unless I want to go for a Hail Mary and hope for oh, four-year ETA. Why? Three-year ETA. Wait a sec. Well, you could turn to a low. When's the last time I scouted him? Eh, pretty recently. Eh, if I miss out on him, so be it. I think I want to go for that power forward. At least he's got top six potential. Let's do it. Let's get Todd Hunwick here. 66. You know what? 66 and 19 is not half bad. Even if he turns 20, he's still close. He should still become a third liner. So that's still a pretty good pick. I just want to see what that center is. See if I miss something. I don't think I did. Four-year ETA. I think he might just be a sick, like right on the cusp, like a 61. Yeah, see, I was right. 61, top nine. Good thing. Good thing I didn't kind of go off, off the grid there. Nice. 69th pick here. 
Uh, no, we can't. We can't do that anyway. That's too many picks. Lol. I probably don't have to clear the block here. It's just gonna reset anyway after. Okay, McGillis, seventeen. Three or ETA. Three or ETA. Nothing out of the ordinary. Four year ETA, but yeah, that it's the ch change right there. Oh, what? How the fuck did I miss this guy? Oh, well, I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> I was scouting this guy, and I oh, I thought I... Now I remember him. Here, there's a, another lefty DFD. Okay, I'm just taking that guy immediately. Glad I picked up the 69th. Nice. Korpakoski, 51, medium elite. Project, but hey, you never know. DFD, fucking hell. What a draft. Uh, oh, shoot. We actually might miss one of those low elites. I, mean, I guess we could deal with that. It's not the end of the world. Maybe I won't. Maybe I could trade up. I might do that. Quality here. Let's just keep getting elites. I'm addicted now. Yeah, they're right here next to each other. Maloney. Both of them defensemen. Both of them lefties. So I technically could miss out on one of them, but there's really no reason to do that because they don't have anything else great coming later. Yeah, not really. Why do that? I mean, fuck. There might even be more. All three of these guys could be elite. Even this Bullbrook guy. Alright, let's grab Maloney and maybe move up to grab this Venonin guy. Yeah, they're all projects. So let's grab Malik Maloney here. 49. Yeah, let's sh probably shift up with a couple picks here. Because I'm not going to be able to grab the other one, I don't think. Ah, that's actually close, but too far off, unfortunately. I might keep that pick and try to trade some later stuff here. Which pick is this? I want to make sure I can get him. Yeah, that'll, that'll still get him. It's Vancouver's pick. They got it on the block. Maybe a couple sixes. Maybe two sixes. I don't think that'll be enough. No. Still might have to be that five. I'd rather try to hold on to it. I could honestly trade every single last one. Oh, I don't have to. Cool. So two sixes and a seven for that pick. I think that's worth. We'll lose two picks total, but I think it'll be worth here. Yeah, if we go, another low elite here. Venonen. Select him as a gem to 53. Oh, he's actually higher. Way, way higher overall, too. Pretty good. Hopefully he doesn't turn 19 quickly. But an OFD. Not too bad. All right, next pick here, the 136. All right, back to some crappy lows. I want to see if that Ollie guy was a low elite, too. No, he wasn't. Wow, we got both. Wow, we struck gold. We absolutely struck gold here. All right, two more picks. We got a blind pick here. Could go for this guy. He's a righty. 20, though, which could make it interesting. Big gold. Could be a high fringe, but we have enough goalies. Might as well. It's another righty, sure, but swing for the fences, I guess, for your ETA with leadership ability. Fuck yeah, let's go. Come on, low elite. Boom. Oof. <laughs> Oh, he had to strike out eventually, I guess. And, yeah, nothing here. <laughs> oh, well. You never know. He kind of stood out there. I don't think any of these guys are going to be much good. I'll sort by potential. I don't think there will be anything good here. There is that guy, but he's nothing. Pope. Two ticks. Top six. Five-year ETA. Good at face-offs. I like that. Let's take that guy. Because if he turns out to be at least something decent, he'll at least have some use. Okay, he's not. <laughs> absolutely nothing there. That's all right, though. The, the, the whole fucking first part of that draft was absolutely insane. We are stacked. We are stacked. Shane Wright, Cody Smith, Umberger, Carlson, 
Hunwick, Korpakoski was a huge deal. Maloney, Venan, and all of those are elite. Besides Hun Hunwick, he was a top six. But, I mean, elite, one, two, three, four, five medium elites, two low elites. I'd say we're set. Absolutely set here. We are looking good. So up to the resign phase we go. A couple AHL coaches need to come back. Um, I might uh, the assistant. I can improve probably upon the assistant coach, goalie coach, a teaching. I might be able to get a D with a plus, but might as well just keep them around. We'll see if they don't accept them. They don't accept. We'll just get new people. Sometimes they do that. Good teaching. C only, though. I could probably get better than a C. So I'm going to fire him. Her. Sorry, Ashley. All right. Okay, a bunch of scouts again. Just keep them all and fire the ones you need to. So we'll do that real quick. And move on. Okay, put me down there. That's cool. I guess we're going backwards. Game wants me to go backwards. We will obey the EA gods before they give us great games and zero flaws whatsoever. Praise be! Here we go. Solid. Okay. Now, contracts. Here we are. This is where we wanted to be. Uh, gets laugh. Uh, looks like you got stack rolled. <laughs> I might actually keep him around. He wants to come back. I don't know. Hold on. What are we looking at here? We don't want to tank next year. We want someone to get better. We could put one of these dudes in the middle. Like, we could try Raymond in the middle with Ovi. Or we could put Sorelli in there, change into a playmaker. He didn't really get the stack growth. But, look at that awareness. We could try that. And he is on that kind of longer term deal. That's not amazing. But yeah, I'm, use up Hornfist. Change Sorelli to a playmaker. Go Ovechkin, Hornfist, Sorelli. I mean, that's a possibility. I don't know how well that line would work, though. I'm almost tempted to keep Gatzloff now. But he should drop off pretty hard. He did get. I guess, yeah, he, he got stack rolled, so he'll maintain a bit better. He did really, really well. I don't know. But we got several guys who are going to hop in here. Right. A lot of these guys are going to be third line, though, and then transition up. We got, dude, we have so many. This is going to get a little bit crowded, I think. Probably AHL for Kraus. Good, he wants a two-way. Um, yeah, we'll sign all three of the guys who are 80+. plus. Cody, Shane Wright, and Umberger listed. Yeah, he's listed as third line as well. I mean, there's a fucking third line immediately. <laughs> Wright, Umberger, and Cody. There's your third line. It's fucking built well. Winnick, you got a whole piece second. And then we need a sniper on his side, which you have Guriana. I kind of want to keep Getzloff. It makes sense. And we could try Sorelli on the top line, try to get him Sacco. I'm gonna I think I'm gonna keep Getzloff here. It makes sense to have him as a center power forward. And hopefully he sustains with that stack growth. It's kind of crazy. I wasn't planning on doing this initially, but right now it makes sense. And we can get him. I'm gonna get him for four and a half. We don't have to save money or anything. Let's pay him a bit. Four and a half for a year. Yeah, because we'll have Ovi, Hornfist, Sorelli as a playmaker. Then Getzlaff, Raymond, and Gurionov, probably. Oh, yeah. we Oh, fuck. Where's Winnick going to go? Ugh. <laughs> Maybe Cody will have to play fourth line in his role. Who knows? But we have a lot of guys. Or we have room to trade away Gurionov, I guess, and change Raymond back to a sniper. Still have Kapanen, who, like, where the hell is... Yeah, we have a... Kind of have happy problems. 
But we again, I still think we needed the center. Still think we needed the power forward there. Lawton. <laughs> Bye. That's just I. I know I could afford it. That's just principle. I'm gonna leave Yash off contract. He's still developing. Carlson. I could sign him and play him. Yeah, he's fine off contract to be honest. I could sign him and play him AHL. What do we got contract wise? Thirty seven. Yeah, why not? Oh well, he'll be an exemption though. Might be better to leave him. Let's see. Suban. Quicks his last year. Just looks like Jones gonna be the starter. We have Ava Linen. Now we got Mirren off, so I got I think I gotta just get rid of Suban. Yeah, I gotta sign him. This guy's gonna have nowhere to go. We're gonna have too many goals as is. Vava line and Miranoff. Suban's the odd guy out. I can't trade quick. I could bury him. I could use Suban as the backup. But I'd, we can stick with Jones quick, I guess. Hmm. That'll create chemistry issues if I do that, yeah. Can I buy him out? Like, what would be the point of that? It cost me way more money. Then there's no need to do that. Just to, yeah, let's let's just let go, uh, Malcolm. All right, so Kulak, Borieski. I don't think I'll keep all these guys because we need guys to spot fill still. We should have close to 40 contracts when we get everyone signed. I'll do two years for you because you're actually close to being useful. Perkland, not really, but yeah, one year for you. Get out of here. We'll bump you up a bit since I'm changing your gears. Same with this dude. Again, just keep him around to spot fill and be depth. That's essentially what I'm doing. Until we start getting more and more prospects filtering in here. So what are we looking at for defensemen now? We did trade someone. We might need to keep them both on. We could we could also sign someone here. Flurry. Yeah, no, I'm not even giving you a long-term deal. So that's will be RFA next year. I don't think that'll be the case. Uh, we got Bergman. I mean, we could try this guy up. He actually made it. Didn't we sign? Did, what did we do with it? Did we sign this guy in like free agency or something? He actually made it. I kind of want to try him out in the NHL now if he jumps. Even if not, he could be a solid depth piece. We'll see where he ends up. One, two, three. There's four. Yeah, we need all of them actually. I'm going to sign sign all of them. Kulak, Borowiecki, everyone. One year though. One year is only for all these guys. And especially Flurry. I, I could do Kulak probably for longer. Borby has, yeah, I can do Kulak made for two years. Perfect. He only wants a one year. I'll just eyeball that. Don't have to go crazy with it. Kulak. Could do a couple years for him. He's a bit more useful. Two years at that price is solid. One year for Flurry. I mean, I could also. I can also tender Flurry, do his contract later, and see if there's a free agent available. Because now's the time we want to start getting better and making pushes. We don't want to necessarily tank again. We got a bunch of young guys in. We actually want to have a, a kind of a successful year. So I'm going to tender Flurry. Maybe trade him. Try to find a good free agent. Maybe a solid defenseman. Lefty guy. Player, pair him with Nash for a bit. See if something like that's available. Especially to help out our terrible goaltending duo. This is pretty much Jones' last chance to get some stat growth. So I want to get a solid defenseman <laughs> if I can. Oh, boy. All right. I think that was almost it. Let's advance a day here. Clean some of this up. Oh, shut your mouth. All right, scouts. That's one, two of like six or something. Three, four. All right, we got Getzlaff. We got Kulak. We got Borieski. We got Kraus. Fiore. Umberger signed. 
he's back. Haluka rejected, whatever, not a big deal. He's an AHL or we'll get him back. Everyone else getting on this team. There we go. Beauty. We have 31 freaking mil to work with. It's a lot of cash. Yeah, straight up, we could easily afford uh, Flurry. In fact, we could, I could even just keep him around just to keep him around and like send someone else down to the AHL. I really don't have to. Let's just sign him now. It might actually cost him more in regular free engine. Not that that fucking matters. It really doesn't, especially if it's only a year. So screw it. Just offer him that. Because, again, we can, we can send Borvieski down. We can send, you know, any of those down. Maybe Bergman down, too. But I kind of I kind of want to try him out as a depth guy. He's listed as depth. I want to I want to actually try him out as that. I think it could be cool. Way we can have an internal depth guy who works really well for us for a number of years until he's like 33. I mean that would be that would be a choice. If you find a good depth guy, you don't get rid of him. Who was it? Was it in our Winnipeg series we had that depth defenseman who stuck with us for like five or six years who was just perfect? Yeah, I want that again. Makes it easier. Having to find depth not so much fun. Alright, here you go. Two-way max. Be happy with it. And I think that's just about it. Let's advance. Okay, one more scout, I believe, and that should be it. I guess not. That should be it for the scouts. We got Flurry, we got Haluka, and I think that's it. We got 28 million to work with, 39 guys on contract. All done, all done. Yes, sir. All right. Really, Ovechkin's our highest paid guy. <laughs> no wonder we're not spending a whole lot. That should change here in free agency. We got him for a couple more years at a very, very good price, and he should still be good, as I was saying. But yeah, I think Sorelli could do well as a, as a playmaker. Look at his look at, look at he's a good face off taker. He's pretty good defensively. He's got high enough awareness to make it work. He doesn't really like the first line. That's the only downside, but. With Ovechkin plus Hornqvist, I can't tell what he likes, but oh, what? That's weird. Plus, he should sustain a bit better with the stack growth he got. I think it could work out. We can try it, basically. So, unless there's like an actual, inc but again, I want to make that Sorelli contract a bit more worth it for the next few years. Cool, because right now we're overpaying him to be a third liner. And he doesn't need to play third line this year, right? We got all those young guys that we want to probably play in their role. So there we are. Let's go up to the... Yeah, yeah, free agency. You know what I'm going to do? I want to take a look. No, I, I know. I'm not going to change the jerseys. I just want to admire them again. Just to remind you guys, too. They look pretty sick. I'm not... We can't lie. They look good, man. Look at that home jersey. Pretty sick home jersey. Look at the road jersey. No, no change is needed, man. No change is needed. And I, I seriously still want this alternate. <laughs> I still want to buy and make this alternate. I love the way it looks. Oh, yeah, baby. Got to admire it. Toot my own horn a bit. I made that alternate. Chat really made the home and away, though. So I'll get one third the credit. <laughs> All right, up the fridge. See, we go. Yes, sir. And yeah, gotta turn that back off. I did turn on goalie rotations. Thank you very much. Don't appreciate being called a noob, Robic, but you're forgiven. <laughs> Alrighty, so there we go. Come on, lefty defenseman. Well, there's Klingberg, not exactly a lefty. Subban Bufflin. So when we need a lefty, there's fucking ten righties. Of course there is. There's Eckholm. He is a lefty. That's about as good as it gets. He would be solid. I mean, he's not like crazy, crazy good. He'd be solid. We can get him for... I'm not going to... I'm going to him two years, not fucking four. That's crazy. But, yeah. Klingberg's too expensive once too many years. Yeah, I think Eckholm's the guy to go with. That kind of sucks. Nothing amazing here. Butcher. Isn't he a bit better? 
We could go with Butcher. Instead of, uh... Ekholm. But I don't know, he might not have got... I don't know, I can't really tell. Although, Butcher's younger, they sometimes they want less money than the older guys. <sighs> Hard to say. He does want three. I would be... I, would, I can give him three years. Be more than willing to do that. Yeah, we can have him for longer, too. Might be better just to go for Butcher, regardless. One team interested in both. Yeah, it honestly might be better to go for Butcher. Age-wise, if we need him for longer to shore up the, uh, you know, the defense there. Three years at that price, pretty doable. That's my guess. There, that's my, uh, that's my thoughts on that. Could also just get a goalie if we really wanted to, but I want to try to get Martin Jones some stack growth or something weird. We'll see what happens. But, uh, yeah, there's, there's free agency here. Um, before we actually sign off here, we might want to do some, uh, extensions right now that need it. I don't even know if we have any major ones. Gurionov, that's a question mark. Larson, hmm. He's going to want an interesting deal. To, ooh, oh! Um... I'm going to lock him in. I don't... Ha. Ah, that's too long-term. He's not going to be that good. That'll be too expensive for a top six thing, I think. Or will it? I really like Larson. Hold on. Let me see what that price is for eight years. It's not necessarily a top six deal. Yeah, it's close to three. Let's see what six years is. That's 2.7. That's a bit better. 2.76 years. Do I want that? I think so. We can afford that for all. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Fuck yeah. That's a really, really good deal. Because um, he's in that weird no man's land. Sometimes they want like around 4 mil. You saw what Flurry was asking for. Larson's not asking for anywhere near that. And if he jumps, he gets to. Yeah, this would be solid, solid. Even if he stays 82, it's a good deal for that kind of guy. And we could play him in that uh, in top six. Don Skoy probably won't get him back. Horn Fist, same kind of story. Again, he should be that he's should be that 85. Got some stack growth. He can maintain that, keep him around there. We actually didn't need to trade him. So that was good. Bergman. We'll see how he works out as a possible depth guy before I extend him, but he's an, definitely an option I can keep around for a while. Gryanov. This is a big old question mark. Could be a good... Ooh, no thanks. Don't think so. Don't think so. Okay, that's really the only one I'm going to do. And that takes care of it. Let me know what you guys think about that free agency class, what we should do and what we should pursue, what you think the uh, perceived lineups will be as well. And uh, that will do us. So thank you guys very much for watching. Remember to leave that like, and I'll see you in the next one.